So if you're like me, you probably like to get to the gist of a YouTube video and understand maybe a little bit more about it before diving in, especially if it's a longer video. Now, there's times and places where this can be really useful, and of course, it depends a little bit on the types of videos. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more, but I assume you're here because you want to know how to summarize a video, maybe do a little bit more using some of the tools that are available to us. And if you use Readwise, then you will have access or you should have access to Reader. And you can be using this to summarize videos really quickly and get the idea, the gist, the understanding and more about what's going on with them. Uh, so, for example, I have pulled this video in. Right? You can either uh, use the Chrome extension or the browser extension or copy the URL and add it into Reader. For example, I've got it right here. Now, on top of having the auto summary from GPT 3.5 by uh, their little ghost reader, um, we've also got the transcript right here, which is super helpful. So as you're going through, it highlights as you're as um, it's playing and you can see where you're at on this. So right away, you're already getting this. Um, this isn't right now something that's available for all articles, but I'm noticing this is happening with videos. Um, you can add your API key uh, for OpenAI and have it done for everything, um, but super handy. And if this, for whatever reason, isn't working, you can sh hit uh, Shift K, I believe, or Shift G, I get that wrong all the time. Uh, Control G brings up all of your options. And you can then summarize the document, right? That's the easiest way. Uh, if that's what you want to do, you can certainly do that. But there's so much more you can do from this. You can generate thought-provoking questions. Uh, generate question and answer pairs. If you're maybe, you know, you're studying in this case, this might be one where if you're studying orbital mechanics and you want to help yourself learn more or learn more quickly, that might be a really uh, good way to go about that. So let's um, do one of these and then also custom. Um, I'm not going to go into the details on that just to say that there's ways that you can customize the prompt that you sent. And maybe there's something you want to do um, that's not one of these uh, four things, then you can put together your own prompt um, that does that. But let's uh, ask the document a question. Uh, let's see, what is um, the basic idea behind orbital mechanics? All right, you can see over here, see the little ghost reader icon. And there we go, based on the passage, uh, the document is an introduction to orbital mechanics and explains we need the passage, mentions the importance of knowing the radius of an or or object's orbit, blah, 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 blah. Um, however, a clear and concise answer to the question, what is the basic idea, is not provided. I think that's actually really good. Um, you know, basically, you could go and watch this, and you'll need to see that to understand it, right? Orbital mechanics, not a super simple uh, thing. Of course, it has a definition, and I think you can get this pretty quickly from that. Uh, let's try another one. Um, also, this will show up as a document note, which is really helpful. So anything you generate uh, will be saved with that. So let's try this again. Let's uh, generate some thought provoking questions. All right, we see it again working. And here we go. What is the difference between an elliptical orbit and a circular orbit? Definitely good to know. Uh, how does eccentricity affect the shape of an orbit? All right, that's good to know. If you're learning about uh, orbital mechanics, that's certainly important. And can you explain the concept of orbital inclination and how that relates to the equatorial plane? Also important to understand how that's all related. So pretty cool stuff right there. Now, like I said, you can get in and do some uh, custom prompts if you really need to do that. Uh, but this is a very quick way I've found to for the article or the video, sorry, you come across that you want to summarize and then see, okay, do I want to spend the 15 minutes on this video? Or perhaps, um, you know, you're looking at this and you're thinking, oh man, this is, let's see how long this video is. Uh, it's eight minutes. Yeah, you could probably watch this, but maybe you're watching, by the way, <laughs> quick tangent. This is a really fun video. If you're into explosions and fire and watching people do it because you're worried you would blow yourself up uh, if you did it, check this video out. Super fun. Uh, but you know, if you've got maybe like an hour long video or two hours or three hours, some of these are really long, uh, then this can be a great way to find out, hey, is this something I want to invest the time in instead of skipping around in just a few seconds, you could have it in Reader, get a summary, um, and then go through that. And as well, too, if you need to make some highlights on the transcript, uh, you could do that as well. Now, there are some other tools available uh, for doing some summaries via timestamps. Um, there's lots of tools um, that will do it video by video. And I'm actually working on a tool 
um, that will do this for subscriptions. So for example, if you're subscribed to a YouTube channel, like most of us are, we're subscribed to one or more channels, it'll automatically pull any new videos and send you updates uh, via email as well as through the web app of, hey, here's the video, here's uh, the summary, and then here's the timestamp breakdown every few minutes of what's going on in the video. So if you're you know, maybe watching or you're saving the, uh, or looking at the orbital mechanics video and you're like, well, I really only need to go over the equatorial plane stuff, but where is that? Instead of having to then search through the video, just knowing that it's somewhere in there, you can say, ah, okay, at minute uh, 73, they talk about that. So let's go right to that, click on that and open that up. So a couple of different things that you can do. Um, and then, you know, for, for uh, short videos too, maybe, you know, you've got this video on Michael Caine on using the difficulty, great little video. I think it's a minute, yep, minute and a half long, uh, but maybe again, you just want to get the gist of it. So this is perfect. Um, talking about using the difficulty and the story behind it and how he uses that with his family. So definitely check out this video. Great little uh, idea on, you know, kind of mentally switching things, but you can get the gist out of it um, and then say, okay, this is what I was looking for, or maybe not, and go watch it or not. So hopefully this is helpful for you in summarizing your videos and knowing what you can do, um, especially using this with Reader and how this can help you really speed things up and save you a ton of time. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just uh, leave a comment on the video below. Thanks.